Welcome to session number 11 here in week number 4 in our beginner friendly workout challenge. Today I'm going to introduce you to high intensity resistant training session, which means you're going to bring a set of dumbbells. So uh, bring a set you have and uh, you can always go a little bit with a little less weight of a dumbbell and make your way through this session. We're going to do the warm up and then after that we have 8 different exercises. We're going to work for 40 seconds and 15 seconds for the next one. We are starting off with two strength exercises and a pulse exercise. One, two strength again and a pulse. So instead of alternative all the way through with a strength and a pulse exercise, we have the two strength before a pulse exercise is coming up. I don't ho hope it sounds too confusing. We're going to do the eight exercises for one round, have a little bit of a break and move on to round number two and number three. So this is a full body workout with, of course, your dumbbells and I'm going to guide you all the way through. In the work frame, I'm going to show you some alternatives if you need to. And in the rest period, I'm going to show you the next exercise. So this is how we put a bit more of a resistance into our high intensity interval training session. So instead of high intensity interval training, we now have high intensity resistance training session here, as I said, and that's where the dumbbell comes in. So go and get your equipment and you're ready to meet me here for the warm up, doing the workout itself, ending this session off with some stretching. So let's go. So first thing first, let's go for a warm up. Staying with some distance between our feet, chin is in, reaching up, inhaling and opening up, exhaling. So bring those arms up, get a good nice stretch in front of your body and reaching up, chin is in and one more, staying out here with our arms and then we're gonna twist over and lifting heel up and turn all the way up in our hip area. So up on our toe and extending arms towards the opposite arm. So squeezing and doing a rotation around our spine. Bring that toe up so you are not twisting in your knee. So in we go back to center and we're gonna do this one more on each so reaching over and come in to center arms pointing forward back again so nice and straight position inhaling do an inner rotation in your shoulder joint and opening up outer rotation so bring it up a little bit of a squeeze in your glutes and four more four open up three and two and hands on our shoulders, turning and twisting. So slowly move from one side to the opposite side, chins in and straightening back here and twisting. Let's go for another two on each side and one on each side. Come into a little bit of a jockey position here, lifting heel up and we're going to push our buttocks out to the side. You can do some walking on the spot instead and inhale and exhale. A little slight of a jump from side to side, lifting up and just a little bit of a jump here, getting ready and go for four and three and two and off we go. Bring me up and we're going to keep on moving that right leg up, bouncing on your opposite leg, four, three, two, and opposite side, leaning away from that moving leg, and four, three, two, and one. Pushing out to the side, heels coming out, toes coming up. Well, we go and up we go, out to the side and up. So pushing out, pushing up. And once again, on each side, and we're gonna stay here, bouncing, opening up, and in front of us. And up we go, lifting up, and pushing forward, and three, two, and heels out to the side. So moving arms close up and put that heel in and we're gonna alternative, we're gonna push that toe in front and heel out to the side, arms following along out to the side and 
and in front, toes in front, lifting up. And four, three, two, and hands on thighs, coming forward and reaching up. Get a nice good stretch in your back. Inhale on the way up and exhale on the way back down. Slowly coming down, reaching up again. And another two, a little squeeze in your glutes. Up we go, and one final one. Yips. So get your equipment, your dumbbells, your exercise mat, and maybe you want to grab a little bit of water before we start. So the first exercise, we're going to do a rope. Two strength exercise, one pulse exercise. Up in a nice position here, bring dumbbells back down and forward again. In the rest period, I will show you the next exercise, which is going to be a lower body focused exercise. So here we go. Good distance between our feet, pushing buttocks back, flexion in our knees, chest is up, working for 40 seconds here. So you just do how many repetition which is possible within those 40 seconds for a modification you can always go with one arm instead of both and also depending on how much your dumbbell is weighing so pushing it back so my dumbbell is five kilo each i don't know exactly how much that is in pounds but i know seven kilos which i use in some of my other session here on my channel is 15 pounds, so a bit less than 15, maybe about 10 or 12 pounds here. And here we are going for a squat with dumbbells. You can put your dumbbells up on top of your shoulders doing the squat, or you can come down with your hands here and do the squat instead. You can also, pushing back, just keep one dumbbell in front of you and pushing back. So. I know if you're not in a in a fitness center, you might not have all different kind of dumbbells to choose between. So this is where you wanna buy some that is a little bit more heavy than you think you can do, and then you will just time by time after time you will be able to do it a little bit harder and heavier dumbbells. I have put some links below this session for suggestions for some workout equipment if you wanna go and have a look at that. Five seconds three, two, and dumbbells in front of you. So now we're going for high knees in and out to the side. Doing that one sequence before we move on to two strength exercises right after. So out to the side and into center. Chin is in and chest is up. So opening up and you can always go here with some boxing on the spot if you need a modification to do that. So maybe you are following along with me from session to next session, or maybe you just made a little bit of a pause and stayed in your week number two, or maybe one that's perfectly fine, but try to stay consistent with the three times a week. And ready, three, two, and in for dumbbells. We're gonna bring them up on top of our shoulders and we're gonna do a shoulder press up. So we're gonna go straight up and back again. You can go single arm, or of course, both arms and shuffle up between those two hips. So chin is in, chest is up. If your dumbbell is too heavy, make sure you're not doing a swinging forward and back. You wanna have some power from Bending and extension your hip instead. So pulling, pushing up slowly back to your shoulders, engaging. Let's go. Pushing it up and back again. Bring it up and down again. Three, two, and come back with your Dumbbells, now we are going to go with a biceps curl, so shoulders are back and ready to bring dumbbells up and down again. Yep, and let's go. 
So bring it up and slowly down. All the way down, inhaling and exhaling. So feel this squeeze. Now you have a bit more resistance in your arms with your dumbbells compared to, for example, working with a band. Down again, so bring it up and all the way back again. I might not be super specific with that before, but push your arms back so you get the triceps on as well. So in front and back, yep. So dumbbells in front of you, and now we're just not gonna step on it, but we're gonna tap on it instead. So three, two, and one. So a pulse exercise here, arms are coming up, or you can always go tapping, tapping, tapping here. So leaning back, inhale, and exhale. Bring it up and keep it on for another 10 seconds. Yep, keep moving. I'll do the modification. Four, three, two, and one. Back into a sitting position. Russian twist with our dumbbell. One side to the opposite side. So leaning back, three, two, and one. Squeezing, you can always put your heels down and continue, but make sure that you have a flexion in your lower back. So push it from one side to the other side. Feel your oblique muscle. Bring it up. Five more seconds. And here we are. Lying down, dumbbells on top here. Ready to do a glute bridge with your dumbbells. Easing off your shoulders and bring it up and slowly back down again. Relaxing your upper body. Inhale, exhale. Squeezing slowly down. 15 seconds left, keep it on. We have a break in just a few seconds. Five seconds, squeezing, let that, those dumbbells resting down on your hips. Yep, here we go. Have a bit of a break. So grab some water and we are ready for round number two out of the three rounds. So staying up nice and tall, two strength, one pulse, Two strength, one pulse, and two strength. Yep, here we are. Bring it up and back. Round number two. Squeezing and go single arm or both arms. So pushing it back, front again. Chin is in. And here we are. Good, nice, engaged core and pelvic floor. 10 more seconds. And as you get further and further in your journey here, I recommend you to stay within those intervals, not going much more than approximately one minute. Yep, shoulders, dumbbells up on top. And stay within those 30, a little bit more plus workout session and then add some extra resistance. So not going longer, but going smarter and harder so pushing it up or maybe you want to bring dumbbells down and up again buttocks back and get that squeeze so squeezing up here on top in your glute muscle and 
resting your dumbbells up on top, ready for some high knees in and out in just a few seconds. Eight seconds, chin is in, it's a nice and tight ab area. Yep, dumbbell out and uh, one of two pulse exercises in this sequence. So arms coming in and out and knees are coming up. So pushing it hard here, open up, in we go. Bring knees up and you can go a little bit lower and you can walk on the spot and in again. So feel your weight. Leaning back a bit, chin is in, let's go for 10 more seconds, pushing it, you know, two strength exercise is on its way, three, two, and back with your dumbbells, hands up on top, Shoulder press up and back again. Nice chest lifted up here. Three, two, and pressing up slowly down. Chin is in and chest is up. Engage your glutes. And you can go single arm if your dumbbells are too heavy right now. But you should feel pushed a bit here. Squeezing slowly back down again. One more. Yep. Ready for triceps and move on back to a biceps. Biceps, sorry, and to triceps. So you get both front and back of your arm in this one. Of a nice position. Three, two, and up we go. Leaning back a bit forward and in again. So just what we did previously session with our band. We have one with biceps and move into triceps. If I remember correctly. And pushing it back. Lifting up and feel it in your arms, front and back of arms. So it's a good time saver exercise here. So just extending all the way down and up we go back. Dumbbells in front, tapping your dumbbells. Oh, you can do it boom, 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 or you can do it a little bounce in between. Two strength exercise right after, and round number two is completed here. Here we go. Tapping dumbbells. Arms moving up or bouncing in between here. Tapping up, not stepping up on the dumbbells. That is too dangerous. Just tapping, or you can always just tap or tap here on the ground. Another 15 seconds. You should be affected on your breathing now. You can go low and you can go high. And Russian twist. And all depending on your the weight of your dumbbell, you can go with two or maybe just a single one. Get the quality in at first. Rounded lower back, engage your core and let's go twisting one side or you can put your heels down and do exactly the same so this is usually something you would do if you can feel your lower back is not right there with you it will be there by time stay consistent and you will see result because of course you won't see that much result if you just work out once and now and you need to put it into your workout schedule. Just plan it ahead. Sit down Saturday or Sunday and look into the coming week. Find out what day you can work out. And make sure that you keep the promise to yourself. 
and glute bridge. Now put yourself on a fourth, fifth, or sixth place, or even more. Chin is in and reaching up. That's what often happens if you get short of time during your week. It's always exercise which get flushed out with the toilet, but you should put that up on top. Exercising uh, equals good health. Squeezing and slowly down. And maybe one week you don't get to do all three workouts, but then you go for a brisk walk and maybe you can do something else. And then next week you are back on the holes again. Yep. And just a bit of a break before we move on to the final round. So get some water and we are ready to hit it with that third round. So we are getting ready for that row. And if you need a bit more of a, a break than this, then you just go and pause me for a while and then come back when you are ready. You've got some water, you've got your dumbbells, and we are ready to pull it back in for final round of a row. Yep, so completely count down here. One, time on each exercise. Chest is up. Four, three, two, and bring it back. Engage your core. Shoulders back. And come back with your arms forward. Final round for the row. Single arm, both arm, or do a little bit of each. We have a lower body exercise coming up. The squat with the dumbbells. Squeeze and do the retraction between your shoulder blades. Five, very important for shoulder stability and for upright position. Dumbbells on top or arms hanging down to the side, ready for the squat. Find your way, maybe you want to point toes a little bit out to the side as long as your knee follows along. Yep, and up we go. Pushing back and up to a straight position. Squeeze. And up we go. So both getting that buttocks back and up and do the squeezing in your glutes. This is our final round. Maybe you want to drop one dumbbell, maybe you want to bring them down, but you're going to keep on moving for the final 10 seconds here, lifting up. So pushing it back up again, five seconds, two, and up we go. Dumbbells out and knees in and out. Five seconds, two and one, in we go, and out to the side, inhaling and whoop to exhaling. So bring those knees up and you can go up here and out to the side, bouncing a bit in between. So right after this one, you are gonna go for two body weight, two exercises, strength exercises with your dumbbells. And then we're gonna have one more pulse exercise and two more strength exercises and then a stretch. So stay put with me here. Pushing it hard. Four, three, two, and dumbbells back again. Shoulder press up. And Stay up here, hands up on top, both arms, single arms, a little bit of each. Up we go, back again. So keep that stable position, no swing forth and back, you can go a little bit down and up and stay protecting your lower back. Inhale. Exhale, finally find 15 seconds. Chin is in, ease off your neck. 
If you're slacking in quality, keep on moving with one arm at the time. Just feel your way. Yips. Biceps to triceps. Had inhaling, so hope you sound like me. Affect it on your breathing. Four seconds, a little bit of a squeeze in your glutes, and up we go, and back down again. You could lean forward doing the kick and stay up right again. Up and try to get elbows to stay in nice close to your body. Shoulders down. Don't bring them up. Stay put. Ten more seconds. Reaching. Come back down. And that triceps. Yep. Tapping on dumbbells. Or maybe just the edge of your exercise mat. Just do something that is pushing your heart rate a bit more up. This is a final pulse exercise. Two strength exercise right after. So tapping. Tapping. Leaning back a bit. Inhale. Exhale. And make sure that you're using your arms. You know, if you need to go down here, then you can push your arms up above shoulder level and still get a lot out of it. And keep it on. Our final pulse exercise today. This is usually the ones that is pushing people even more. Five seconds. Two and in for the sitting, the Russian twist, leaning back, so engage your ab area and let's go, feet up or feet down, so modification here, feet down and make sure that you have this Nicely rounded position where you're engaging that key area. 20 seconds. And make sure you get all the way from each side to each side. Over. So not sitting here, but give yourself the time to make sure you reach those oblique muscles. So get in and get a grip here. Yep. Lying down. And dumbbells up on top. 40 seconds here and we are ready for a stretch. Five seconds. And let's go squeezing slowly down. This is final exercise and our final third round. So you can put a smile on your face. Enjoying the ride and you completed the full workout. Bring it up and bring it down. Squeezing, make sure you connect with your pelvic floor as well. Push up and a few more here. Up we go and here we are. So put your dumbbells out to the side. Great job. I'm going to stop the timer and we're going to start out for some stretching lying down here. So right leg up on top on our left leg. Bring the legs up and grab your legs. Actually, you can feel it also by having your arms down here, relaxing your shoulder joint and just inhaling and exhaling. Make sure you feel the stretch in your right Glute area, hip area, and don't get further into the stretch that you can easily breathe. Not affected on your breathing here, and opposite leg up on top, knee out to the side, and get that good stretch in your glute. If you don't feel anything, you can just go in and grab and pull your legs closer to your upper body. Nice job. 
Now you've been introduced to the high intensity resistance training using a set of dumbbell. And we want to use those dumbbell for extra resistance, building some muscle tissue. And go with feet down, massaging our lower back and get a nice stretch in the oblique muscle. Stretching. And go from one side to other side. And next time you are at your left side with your knees, you're gonna stay here, leave the feet and the knees down and you're gonna move your head doing a rotation in your cervical spine, looking towards your right arm. Get a nice stretch in our neck. <sighs> Exhale. Bring head back up to center, lifting our legs up. Moving to the opposite side and look towards your left arm. Come back up to center, up to sitting, straight knees. And get a good hamstring, the back of your legs, good hamstring stretch, shoulders down, oops, the time is still going on. <laughs> Leaning forward. Right hand next to your right hip, reaching over, pushing your left Glute down, reaching and get a nice stretch around your armpit. Chin is in, get a nice stretch in those back muscles. <sighs> to center and reaching to opposite side, pushing right glute down, reaching up and over. So by stretching, we can avoid second day soreness Delayed onset muscle soreness, but we can absolutely make sure that our muscle and tendons are able to move in full range of motion during the stretches. Come back on our feet, hit back on my feet again. And you are more than welcome to put a comment below, a thumbs up. Hopefully you have subscribed by now and maybe you want to share this challenge with somebody you love who needs to get up from that sofa and do some exercising. So let's go for breathing in and opening up, exhale. Two more to go. Reaching up out to the side and one more and out and Thank you for joining me. I will see you soon in session number 12 in our final session of this beginner friendly workout challenge. Until I see you, stay happy, stay healthy and stay strong. Take good care. Bye.